You've probably heard of coyotes before, not the animals, but people who get paid to smuggle others into the country. In the construction world, there's another kind of coyote, someone who smuggles people into the workforce. We refer to them as coyotes or labor brokers. They typically um, use fear to keep their workforce in line. Construction sites across the state are full of them. Hundreds of employees every week getting paid in cash under the table. State money, state funded projects. It's just a constant race to the bottom. Let's make sure everyone's getting screwed. And it, it takes millions and millions of dollars from our tax base. Uh, we used to meet up at a parking lot, Home Depot. So this is your informant's paycheck? Yep, paycheck. That's how he gets paid every week. So he's dealing with cash. So he's coming up with $30,000, $40,000 a week in cash. Where is he getting the money? What's that company? We don't even know. We just know the guy's name, Sergio. The Utah Carpenters Union says on most job sites, the manpower does not come from the general contractor or even the subcontractors. It comes from people like Sergio Coronado. He's the next coyote. He's the next labor broker. There's, there's a lot of dudes that do it, a lot. He's not the only one. Oh, yeah, I worked for that guy before, too. Same thing. This man says he's been a legal resident in the United States since 1999. He worked hard for his green card, but when he tried to get a job, he says the subcontractor told him, just call Sergio. I want to pay my taxes, you know. For months, he says Sergio paid him in cash. He showed us the proof, but eventually something changed. He says Sergio started getting nervous. He switched to checks, but still, no taxes, no workers' comp, no deductions. Sergio? Uh, Sergio, I'm Adam with Fox 13. Oh, how you doing? Anyway, what are you guys doing here? Just a few okay. minutes after Sergio started handing out his first Working checks, we gave him a chance people? to explain. He said he's not the guy in charge. Are you leaving because you're paying your people in cash, or what's going on? No, I don't pay anybody. You don't pay anybody? No. All the people on these construction sites, they say they work for you. Yeah, you know paying yeah. people in cash is illegal, right? Yeah, I know. Uh, Sergio's on the rise. According to the Division of Occupational and Professional Licensing, Sergio has never been cited or disciplined. They could not confirm or deny whether he's under investigation, but they do say other labor brokers have been caught. When I saw NGF on there, I was like, wow. They were by far the biggest. This summer, the division fined NGF $225,000, a thousand for each of their 225 unlicensed employees, and took away the company's license. NGF is the equivalent of the, the, the guy on the corner selling drugs that gets busted. There's someone right there to take his spot. They're still working. I guarantee you every one of them is, is working today. <laughs> Fox 13 has reviewed dozens of undercover videos from the union on taxpayer-funded job sites like this, new student housing at the University of Utah. The videos show some employees have no problem talking about their cash payments. How many guys on site? I don't know. Right now we're at uh, 108. 108. Wow. To the different brokers. The coyotes. <laughs> the coyotes, huh? Yeah. They hiding, you know. Right. The union records videos like this on a regular basis and files complaints hoping for someone to pay attention. But they're not just mad at the coyotes. They say they're mad at the contractors for turning a blind eye. What has been done about the subcontractors, if anything? Nothing. What should be done? They should go to jail. If you have that practice somewhere in your tears, you need to take care of that. Utah Senator Karen Maine passed legislation in 2014 to try and stop the coyotes, but she admits now that it's been six years, it's time to take it a step further. Do you think those fines are enough? They're not enough now. The behavior has accelerated. We, you and I are paying taxes on, on what we make. They're not. So who's getting hurt? They're robbing from us. Senator Karen Maine says she will be introducing a new bill in the upcoming legislative session, which will increase fines, promising that it will also pass with bipartisan support. Fox 13 has also spoken to some of the subcontractors who work with Sergio and other suspected coyotes. They say it is not their job to investigate another company's books, and they claim they have no reason to suspect anything illegal taking place. Reporting in studio, Adam Herpetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.